Hey YouTube, what's up? It's your girl Ashley and you are watching Grown Folk. If you're new here, please hit that subscribe button. If you want to know when I post videos, hit the notification bell. If you're enjoying this video, give me that thumbs up and definitely climb down in that comment section so we can discuss this fuckery we about to view here together. And always remember, it never ever ever hurts to share. So I would totally appreciate if you did so. So we have gathered here today to talk about Dame Dash and the late great Aaliyah and somewhat of their sex life. Now I must say since the Surviving R. Kelly Lifetime special came out, Dame Dash has been speaking a lot about Aaliyah more than he ever has before. Now, if you can recall, right after the Surviving R. Kelly special on Lifetime, he did an interview with a YouTuber, and I made a video on that interview. Now, remember how I was all shocked because I was like, he dropping all types of tea because he really never talks about Aaliyah. But then he got a little bit too happy and said this. I've been, I've been tired about this shit for years. So to be honest, like, if you remember the best of both worlds, you don't see my name on it. Say what? Uh -huh. You know what I mean? And, and Your name is not on you now. Hell no, I never wanted no parts of that. So my mom was doing that shit, I was like, bro, you know I only violated, and he violated my girl. He violated a friend of yours. So, you know, So y'all see how my dramatic ass edited the video like You don't see my name on that <laughs> Say what? Oh, no. And that led to y'all getting me all the way together Cause a couple of y'all was like huh, Grown folk hold on now Hold the hell on And I will use Latoya Banks for example Okay she writes Dame claims he didn't like our Kelly nasty ass but the dude was dancing and stuff all in the fiesta video. And I was like, you know what? She got a point. I do remember his ass doing a little shimmy in that damn fiesta fiesta video. Remember because fiesta was one of the best songs out of that whole damn album. Because it was lit from jump. Remember it was after the show it's the after party and after the party it's the hotel lobby and after the baby then it's probably Chris and after the original it's probably this fiesta 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 y'all know that was lit but unfortunately we ain't here to get our boogie on because this your name is not you now hell no I never wanted no parts of that and this ain't nowhere near hell no I don't want no parts of it do you know we can see you? Now, Dane, you need to carry your ass off to bed for that foolery because there is no reason we should have sat there and saw you say that with such pride and confidence knowing your ass was sitting up there shaking with a damn vodka bottle in that damn video all them many moons ago. But contrary to what you have seen thus far is not even the meat and potatoes of the damn story. But it's this individual before you is exactly where the fuckery comes in at. Oh, but don't believe for one second that she's alone because her boo, Damon Dash, is right there beside her. Now, not only is he going around requesting and trying to convince others that Raquel, his girlfriend here, is not of Caucasian descent, but she is whatever she wants to be because it's kind of like what transgenders are. You may be a man, but you are truly a woman inside. So she is truly two different people inside and not even a white woman. Ain't that nifty? Now, when they are not rambling off about how she is spiritually not white, they have another discussion, and that is how two people live inside of her, or rather, should I say, a spirit guides her. So let's take a look at that. Now, before I start this video, it's one thing I must point out to you. You must look at 
this man's face as he is asking these questions and listening to them speak. Just study his face. That's all I ask. And that was love. And when she passed, I never thought I would ever get that feeling again. I got that feeling again with Raquel. The type of love that I had with Aaliyah, I didn't think I was going to be able to find with anybody else. It was that kind of like, we're friends. And I never thought I'd be able to find someone that cool. It's funny, I'll be talking to her and her record will come on and it would always be like validation. Mm -hmm. like we'll we'll say something about her and the lightning will go across the lightning will go off or a butterfly will come. And I notice when she's trying to figure me out, she talks. Mm -hmm. Ask Aaliyah for advice. <laughs> and it usually answers. You know, the death of Aaliyah was really hard on Damon. I feel like she guides me a lot and tells me how to react and tells me how to um, be the best lover. Now, bitch, get your pillow and go to bed because you couldn't have said what I thought you said. Well, Aaliyah Spears should have told you, speak this foolishness one more time and see what happens. To um, be the best lover. Uh, she is definitely a daily part of our lives. Sit your pasty ass down somewhere. Aaliyah is not somewhere morphing into your damn body so you can ride the D correctly on Damon. As well as your mammy and your pappy is white. So, honey, I'm sorry. Your ass is white. You and Damon can let that shit go as well. Deal with it. Somebody need to slap some logic right into y'all simple-minded ass. Now, y'all should already know what time it is. Y'all know I want to know what y'all think about this tomfoolery you see here upon your screen. Green. Is it me or do you think it was better when Dane Dash was not talking about Aaliyah? Because this shit he is letting slip out his mouth is rather creepy. Why would you even want to be with somebody that you got to compete with a lover that is dead? There is no winning that game. This shit is unhealthy and not normal. And both of their asses need to be evaluated. Raquel, I hate to break it to you, but Aaliyah is not whispering sweet nothings in your ear advising you how to get Damon Dash off. If you can't figure that out on your own, it's time for you to get off the bee, honey. I say slapping sprees for everybody, but what do y'all think? Let's get the discussion popping because I want to know what y'all think. Is this disturbing to y'all? What do y'all think about having to always compete with somebody that is dead? Wouldn't that freak y'all out? Like, they need to let Aaliyah go. She has passed on already and then it sound like they doing some black magic sex shit that ain't cool sound like some beyonce and that drama type shit i told y'all it'd be some crazy shit going down in the damn industry as well as that shit is just absolutely not healthy in any way possible well you guys know i enjoyed you as i always do remember to hit that share like comment and notification bell as well as subscribe to the channel grown folk come get to know your girl and grown folk family you just might like us i'll see you guys next time bye